we all know getting off to a great start in life in large part depends on your home and your education. That's why my vision is and always will remain creating a seamless system of education from cradle to career. Yes, COVID has disrupted classrooms in New Mexico and indeed across our whole country. But dealing with the virus must not and will not derail our focus on improving outcomes in public education, on necessary long-term investments in family well-being and the health of school communities across the state. We have a right to have high expectations about elevating our approach beyond what may have been the familiar schooling to many of us from decades ago. We have right to expect that we can build and create a high-performing education system that is responsive to the emotional, physical, and academic well-being of each individual. Education is the best tool we have to make our Commonwealth a better, more equitable place for everyone. It gives everyone access to opportunity to build the life that they want. At the heart of that movement is the idea that every child, regardless of background, is entitled to a great education and all the opportunities that come with it. Education has always been called the great equalizer, but it can't be that way if our kids are not treated equally. Ladies and gentlemen, I truly believe that this concept of educational equity is at the heart of so much of the pain and division in our country right now. A high quality education can change everything. Every single child in Maryland deserves a world-class education. We know that the best path to a good job is a good education. Our economy demands every child has a great public education. If we're to move Alaska forward, we must provide our children with the quality education they deserve. High quality education is the ticket to greater opportunity for our children. Without it, how can we hope that our kids are gonna be able to lead better lives than we did? And by the way, universal high quality education leads to healthier people and healthier communities. Here's the bottom line. I believe we have a moral imperative to transform our education system to ensure every student has the same chance to succeed and equal opportunities. It could be more comprehensive and more nimble with more choices and better outcomes for every student from cradle to career. I also believe we need to sharpen one particular tool to get our economy rolling, our state's workforce development. We don't need Mississippians to be stuck in low paying jobs. We want them to embark on careers with good pay. We must also continue to increase opportunities for job training at the high school level. Career Ready 101 is a program designed to help prepare high school students for the workforce. This program also helps students prepare for the Work Keys Assessment, a program recognized by hundreds of Missouri employers in over 100 counties. This credential is an important stepping stone for students who are not immediately college bound, but have the knowledge and skills to fill high demand jobs. And there are good options for further education and training beyond traditional college. And we continue creating exciting public private partnerships to train more people for the jobs of the future. Today, we have registered apprenticeship sponsors in healthcare, hospitality, and the marine industry. I am thankful to the employers that participate. And I encourage all employers in the territory to partner with the Department of Labor as a registered apprentice. Workforce development creates resilient people and leads to sustainable economic growth. I will be calling on some of Nevada's leading companies to fund, design, and implement training programs to prepare and qualify employees for these jobs. In addition, we need to recognize that our community colleges will play an even bigger role in workforce training. My friends, rest assured, we can see the future and it is bright. We just have to get from here to there. And that's what we need to do together.